Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to add mathematical symbols and formulas to your Matplotlib figures. So it turns out that Matplotlib allows you to add a subset of what is called the tech markup language. This means that you can add symbols to any string on your Matplotlib figure, including the title, the legends, the labels, or even as an annotation. And I'll be showing you how to do all of this in today's video. By the way, all of the code I'm about to demo is available on my GitHub page. So I'm gonna start off coding by importing the PyPlot module as well as NumPy and Matplotlib. And then I'm just gonna create some data to be able to plot. So X ranges from one to four, and then the various Y values just are some function of X. So now we're ready to try out tech with Matplotlib, and let's go ahead and try to write a superscript first. So let's say for this plot, I wanna add a title, y equals x to the power of two. So maybe I would use this caret. This gets the point across, but it's not the prettiest and we can do a little bit better. To use tech, all we need to do is put two dollar signs around this equation. And I'm also gonna recommend here that we use an R outside of this string. Using that R prefix just tells Python to leave this as a raw string and to not convert any escape sequences. So now that we hit enter, we see y equals x squared, and the two has been brought into the superscript because we used that caret and surrounded our equation by two dollar signs. So what if we wanted to do a subscript instead? Let's say we have this title, y equals x underscore i. Again, this kind of gets the point across, but if we want to convert this using tech, we just need to use the prefix r and then two dollar signs around this equation. Now we see y equals x sub i, where we used the underscore to signify to tech that that i should be printed out as a subscript. And what happens if you actually want to use a whole word or phrase as your subscript? What you can do in tech now is still use the underscore, but you should surround your phrase with a set of curly braces. Okay, so we've seen superscripts and subscripts. What about letters and math functions? So in this plot, y equals cosine of pi times x. Let's try our same trick before using the r prefix and surrounding this by dollar signs. This actually just makes all of that text italicized. So we need to do something slightly different here. It turns out that tech has a function called backslash cos, which will represent the cosine, as well as backslash pi, which represents the Greek letter pi. Now we see the appropriate y equals cosine of pi times x. So if you have these new symbols or functions that you want to use from tech, typically the way that you're going to do that is use this backslash and then the name of that symbol or function. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this isn't just for annotations or titles. You can actually use this throughout your Matplotlib figure. So in the title, the text, the labels, the legends, all of it, you can use this R prefix for your string and then surround your function with these two dollar signs in order to produce mathematical symbols and formulas. We just saw how to add Greek letters as well as subscripts and superscripts, but what about some more advanced options like fractions or even full mathematical equations? Let's take a look. So I've gone ahead and created some new data here. Y frac is equal to two plus one over X squared. And so if you've tried to write this in Matplotlib before, maybe you've written something like this using the forward slash to indicate a fraction. But if you want to use tech to indicate this, once again, we need to prefix with an R then surround everything by dollar signs. And what we also need to do is convert this fraction. The way to do a fraction in tech is to do backslash frac then we surround our numerator by a set of curly braces, and then immediately surround our denominator by a set of curly braces. This will indicate to tech that we want to create a fraction and print one quantity on top of the other. And we can actually get quite a bit more fancy with the equations that we're displaying on our Matplotlib figures. Here I'm creating a limit, and so you'll see I use the underscore to indicate that I'm putting something underneath the limit. And then I create a fraction and I write a whole equation out here. One thing I did want to point out here, there's no space between that limit and the number two, even though I created a space in my equation. So tech does not recognize white spaces. You need to actually include a backslash and a semicolon to indicate to tech that you'd like to put a space here. 
And there's so much more that you can do with tech in matplotlib. For example, you could add accent marks or write out full equation arrays or potentially switch your font to display something like big O notation. Matplotlib has an excellent resource that displays all of the different symbols that you have access to, and I will link that resource in the description below. I'd highly recommend checking that out if there's some specific symbol that you're looking for. So thanks so much for stopping by today. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel where I'll be doing more Matplotlib tips in the future. See you then. Bye.